All right. So we are recording and um, I'll turn it over to you, Grish. Thank you. So uh, for this food soak uh, technique, we'll be just uh, needing a tub of water. It could be like just a lukewarm or normal tap water with a handful of salt in the, uh, in the water tub. And we will be putting our both of our feet into the water. And then we'll be just doing our uh, normal meditation, the normal chakras meditation, our balancing meditation. And with that, you have to have the separate, uh, a fresh water jug just next to you so that in the end you can and clean uh, the feet when you just take out the feet out. Okay, maybe next step. So I'll be just talking about this, how to raise the Kundalini and how to take Bandhan. I'll be just showing on the video. Hope my video is clear. And uh, you can also like just repeat it at the same time. So we'll, I'll be raising the Kundalini with our left hand like this. Like our left hand will be like this on the central channel on the spinal cord. And our right hand would be moving like clockwise like this. So we'll be doing this step like three times. And all in, in every step, we'll be just putting a knot on top of it. At the first, it will be first knot, one knot. In the second time, it will be two knots. And in the third time, it will be three knots. So I'm just doing it now. You can also like do it at the same time. So this is the first knot. We do it second time. We raise the Mother Kundalini. And give a knot on top of our hand, top of our head, two times this time. Third time, putting the knot three times on top of our head. So this is, we call it raising Kundalini with our hands. Then we give the bandhan to ourselves like a, an aura seven times. For each chakra, we just have the, so hence we do it seven times. We take our right hand and start from our left side. Take a like whole round from top of our head, goes to the right and then come back again. So that's a one round. Like this, we do a seven round. This is like giving protection to ourselves. So we do this at the start of the meditation, at the end of the meditation, and also other various other places we will, which we are going to talk later. So I hope like you have already kept your feet into the foot soak tub. If not, you can do it now. Just relax within yourself. If you want, you can close the eyes or if you, can, if you want, you can just watch on the screen. We'll, we'll take our attention inside, away from the distraction, distraction of the outside noises. We'll hang our right side, right hand towards the earth. If we are like, we are sitting on the chair, so we'll just hang our right side, right hand towards the earth pointing the fingers towards the earth. We 
we will pray here within ourselves to mother kundalini o oh mother please clean our left side let all the problems of our left side be absorbed in the earth element we'll take back our right hand on the lap again and we'll take the our left hand towards the sky whatever steps we are doing just feel the the flow of energy flow of vibration in your palms in your fingertips we will pray here oh mother that all the problem of our right side be absorbed in this ether element we'll take the left hand back on the lap we will hang over both our both hands towards the earth now keeping our attention on the central channel we will pray to mother kundalini o oh mother please give us balance let all the imbalance be absorbed by this earth element by this water element and let us establish into the central channel we can take back our hands again in the lap keeping our eyes closed keeping our attention inside
observing the flow on our palms on our fingertips on our ankles observing the flow in our spinal cord in our channels we may open our eyes and watch the photograph on the screen and while doing this to check our mental state you will feel the silence within yourself we will slowly conclude our food soak within ourselves to all the five elements we will just thanks to all the five elements to water element to mother kundalini for this food soak and gradually we will wash our feet and just clean it with the fresh towel or something and we can flush this water into the toilet i'll be just back in us in a second in a moment
So I hope everyone enjoyed the food soak. So, and now we'll be talking about the Vishuddhi Chakra and also we'll be having a, like, a very short meditation for the Vishuddhi Chakra. And then we will listen also to a small talk of Shimadhaji on this uh, very special chakra, which is like uh, on our, in our throat, this area, the cervical plexus. So this chakra, we should the chakra, which is like our fifth chakra in our with in our throat, which is like represented as a blue circle, blue blue fl flower. It's like the you can say the second biggest chakra in our septal system. The first chakra you can say the the top chakra is the biggest with the thousand petals, and this is like the we should the chakra on our cervical plexus, which has 16 subpetals. Sub and it's like a very big chakra, which covers so many things, like also like is used in the function of our eyes, our nose, and our ears, all ENTs things, also our throat. It also controls our voice. And hence, like you see, the it, it, it is mentioned as communication because it, this is the chakra which plays the the important role in your communication. So the quality of communication comes with this chakra. And this chakra mainly has the three, three parts, which all the majorly all chakras has like left part of it, central part of it, and the right part of it. This chakra is represented as a, in the, in the like in, in your palms with the index fingers. And the, the left part of the Vishuddhi Chakra, which we call it left Vishuddhi, is, is a chakra like when someone feels guilty about anything. So that chakra gets caught. That chakra has the, like the when the Kundalini rises, it gets stuck on that Vishuddhi Chakra. If someone feels gu guilty about anything, about, about the past things, whatever has been done, so like how to confront this, this guilt problem, like whenever we have, we are never, we think that we had done some mistake. So we just have to face that mistake and like improve ourselves. We have to focus our attention on the, on the, on the learning, like how to face that situation and how to fix that problem. And the mantra, or we can say the affirmation for this left Vishuddhi Chakra, uh, you might have attended in the self relation pro uh, process. We just put our left, right hand on the left Vishuddhi and we see, we say that I'm not guilty. So this is the, the prayer we will all, all will, we all of, all of us will do together. We'll just put our right hand on the left Vishuddhi and close our eyes and just say within ourselves, Mother Kundalini, I'm not guilty. as I am the pure spirit, I am not guilty at all. And when this chakra gets open, gets nourished, you also have the courage to speak the truth. To speak the truth at any, on any stage, you, you will, won't be having any fear in speaking the truth. Now, if we talk about the right part of this chakra, which you can see, uh, as we say, the, see, we, if, if, as we know, the right channel is like more of our physical aspect, our action action channel. So this is like physical part, you can say physical part of, physical aspect of Vishuddhi chakra, which is more of related to your voice. How, how do you speak? If you have like, if you use some harsh words or some abusive words, all, the problems gets collected on the right Vishuddhi Chakra. And because of that, we the Kundalini cannot easily cross this right chakra, right Vishuddhi Chakra. Even like if someone do a lot of smoking, this Vishuddhi right chakra gets caught up and that again uh, blocks the, the path of the Kundalini. So how how to like tackle this? You have to like use a proper proper voice, a sweet words, 
you have to like be appreciative for others not to talk like ill negatives of others always so that we can work on this chakra from like outside thing and of obviously the meditation the kundalini uh, working also helps here so here like the affirmation you can just put your left hand on the right we should then say within yourself mother kundalini you are the sweetness and diplomacy in my voice let all the harshness of my which is in my voice goes away okay you can just take back your left hand on the lap if you come to the center part of the shoe we should be which is like responsible for controlling your ears no uh, even nose the functioning of nose functioning of like all the things related to the cervical plexus and this is the chakra which gives you the quality of communication it also makes you more collective collective with people collective with everyone in the world that we feel that we are not separated we are all connected with with a like a universal power a universal energy we feel feel like the whole is also like we are also the part and parcel of the whole so that's the collective quality uh, is like comes from this vishuddhi chakra if we feel like that i am superior than other so like it's like we are working against this chakra and if, in also on other side if we feel that we are very low we are inferior from other chakra so that also like we are playing against this chakra all kind of fanatism rigidity in our like in our ritual any ritualism all these things also blocks this chakra and when this chakra is like opens up so we we feel more one with each other because that also comes with the realization when we realize that we are the spirit i am the spirit i am that universal power in universal truth so we automatically gets one with the whole with the collective so it gives you the sense of collectivity and here we can just put our right hand and we just pray mother please make me collective i am the part and parcel of the whole please help me find universality in all my relationships slowly take your hand back on the lap in sequence after the vishuddhi chakra we get the agnya chakra which is like in the center of our forehead but before this agnya chakra between our eyebrows there is a chakra which we call it hansa chakra and this is also like considered as a part of the vishuddhi chakra so this hansa chakra is placed is just in between the eyebrows and the the quality of this chakra is the discretion it it gives you the 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 quality of making the decision right decision which is in benevolence of your spirit may not be like profitable or in the material world in the sense of material but it will be like beneficial for your growth your inner growth so we can just put over like our fingers here and just say mother mother please give me 
the discretion quality. We can take back our right hand back on the lap. We'll move to the next slide. Now we, now we will listen to Shimata Ji's speak, his speech. Shimata Ji is talking about uh, the Vishuddhi, Vishuddhi Chakra and its quality and the uh, how to like what are the qualities and uh, what are the things which work against the Vishuddhi Chakra? So now the other center which we have here is very important center called as the Vishuddhi Chakra. This is the center V Shuddha. One is Shuddha means pure, but V Shuddha means absolutely pure. This has got 16 petals as we have got the cervical plexus expressed in the gross, which has also got 16 subplexes. It tallies with medical science completely. Now, this Vishuddhi Chakra is bestowed upon by the deity of Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna is the one which is the evolution of the Vishnu Tattva from there upward to the state of primordial being. He is the one who resides as the primordial being, as the whole, as the Akbar. When Muhammad Sahib talked of Akbar, he talked of Sri Krishna. This is the finger which represents this center. And he said, put this cent into your ears and say, Allahu Akbar, you get in connection with the Virat. Now what Sahaja Yoga does is to make you in contact with the whole. It makes you in contact with the whole. It's not that it limits you, but it makes you one with the whole. But if you take to the right path, if this center is awakened, your hands become connected with the primordial being, and you become, your hands become collectively conscious. Medically, they accept that the extremities have got something to do with the sympathetic nervous system, that far, not more than that. But in Sahaja Yoga, you'll be amazed that the vibration starts flowing through your hand when you take the name of Sri Krishna. And these vibrations, when you want to find out what are these, then you'll be amazed they relate to your centers within yourself. Even if you get ten children who are realized souls and tie their eyes and ask them about a person who is sitting before them, what's wrong with him, they will say one finger or this finger or this finger or two fingers. Because you can feel the charring. You can feel sometimes a kind of a heat. Sometimes you may feel the numbness. If you feel the numbness on your fingers, then you must know that the person has to die. So many things you can know, all the permutations of these seven centers and this one, one, five, and six and seven. So we have seven centers. To understand about the centers, first you must get your realization. That is important. In the beginning you'll find the vibrations are coming, going, coming, going. It is not steady. First you must steady yourself. Then you can find out from your hands what are the centers catching. Because these vibrations are nothing, but the power of God is flowing through you. They understand these vibrations, they coordinate. 
They are life's force. They are the one who create uh, all these living things, like they, they are the one who sprout a seed, they are the one who transform the flower into a fruit. All living work is done by these vibrations, which is called as Chaitanya, Om, Ru, Cool Breeze of the Holy Ghost, and all pervading power of God. That starts flowing through you. First time you feel them. Yesterday many people felt it, and people were very happy that so many felt it, because that's a sign that here many people are going to get realization. You don't have to go anywhere. You have to just practice a little bit and find out. You become such an expert. One person in, in India who got realization has so far given realization to at least 10,000 people in a village, many villages. He's a very ordinary man. We wanted him to come, but there was a kind of a visa problem, so he could not come. He's a very simple farmer. And he got his realization, and he knows so much about Sojaka that you'll be amazed he has not been to any university, to any college or anything. But he's so knowledgeable, because once you have these vibrations, they guide you. So the Spirit sitting in your heart guides you and tells you what is right and what is wrong. If you have to ask a question, Mother, is there God? If you ask this question, immediately there will be a tremendous flow saying that it is there. Now how to understand that these are the vibrations of God? Also this question can come. We can test them relatively. For example, in one of the programs in Pune, people invited me to speak in a place which was owned by Brahmins and they opposed it. They said, she's not a Brahmin, so we will not have her here. So they said, all right, we'll publish in the newspaper because her name has gone in the newspaper. We'll tell them that these people are so Brahminic that they don't want to have her. Of course, they didn't want to have that bad name. So they said, all right, let's have her. These people never told me what had happened. Suddenly I said, those who think you are, who are Brahmins come down. So four or five of them came and sat before me. These are Brahmins without knowing the Brahma. So I said, all right, put your hands before me. And they just started shaking like this, going back. I said, what's happening to you? So they said, Mother, you are Shakti, that's why it is happening to me, to us. But I said, what about others? It's not happening to others. So they turned around and said, look at these, they are also doing like this. I said, ask them from where do they come. They went and asked them, they said, we are coming from the lunatic asylum of Thana. So these fanatics who believed that they were Brahmins were reacting the same way as these lunatics. And they believed that they were Brahmins, they were not supposed to touch anybody, they were untouchables people, and they were <laughs> the one who gave them realization was from so-called untouchable, a shoemaker. Now he has become their guru of all these Brahmins, and he is teaching them about God. So this center gives you the power to be one with the whole. It has many powers, but the main power it gives you is the power to be one with the whole and to have all the powers of that deity within you awakened so that you can become aware and make others also aware of it. Those people who talk too much catch on the right vision. Those who do not talk at all catch on the left. Those who feel guilty catch on the left. Those who think they are all right and aggressive, they catch on the right. It's like that. So this has to be understood in right perspective. That if you misuse this center, what happens to you? So how you should give yourself a balance to improve that. But the best part of Sahaja Yoga is this, that when you get that realization, they are separated from themselves. They'll come and tell me, Mother, my Agya Chakra is catching. So if you ask them, really? Yes, Mother, very much. That means they are suffering from too much ego. But can you imagine anybody saying, Mother, I'm suffering from too much ego? Because you're separated from your, yourself, you see your ego, the big balloonic like thing. And you said, Mother, please remove my ego. That is how people talk to me. They will tell me, Mother, I talk too much, that's why my right vision is catching, you better cure it. I must stop my talking too. 
So you start correcting yourself because you get separated from yourself. You become the spirit and the rest you see. Like I see my sari, if there's a spot, I would like to clean it. I'm not identified with the spot. So that's how it happens. You are no more identified with yourself and you start seeing the faults in you and you try to correct it. That's how you become a beautiful person by your own attention, not by anybody else. It is you who has to do it. Just sit in the silence. Relaxing. In a while, we'll play a music. We will enjoy the silence within yourself. 
until the music is played Now, every one of us, we will again 
raise our kundalini with our hands and take the bandhan within ourselves we will just thanks to the inner energy to mother kundalini if anyone has any question they can post the questions or if anyone wants to share their experience thank you parash it was beautiful thank you very much thanks everyone thank you thank you parash for the beautiful foot soak and meditation um um again as parish said uh, if anyone has questions we'll be happy to answer uh, just um a couple of um uh, uh, sorry thank you prajwa uh, just a couple of practical um, tips for the week uh, i know most of you come to the weekly sessions so please do keep coming and um we would encourage um, you to keep a little journal if you'd like of um your daily meditation the quality of your thoughtlessness and um how your day went by and then you could do that the same each day and just see the changes in you and um there's meditation music that you can play uh, we typically send this in the whatsapp groups um not all music is the same uh, some music has um, vibrations and when you meditate with music like that um, you can get into thoughtlessness more easily and the bandhan that um, parish showed you earlier which is on in this slide um we always begin with taking the bandhan and after meditation we close with taking the bandhan this is to keep to request our mother kundalini to stay in our sahasrara about the seventh center um and that's why we take the bandhan um and just uh, observing in everyday situations if you feel like you're worried about something or your mind is restless or something uh, stressful happened at work home in any everyday situation it could be when you're driving anyway um when something happens um just bring your attention to the spirit within of course not when you're driving <laughs> but um when you're when you have a moment uh, bring the attention to the spirit within and to the mother kundalini within recognizing that this motherly energy is ever present with us and just doing those two things can um, center ourselves can help us center ourselves so that's one way you could um, apply sahaj yoga to practical situations in life and also when you have a little longer time maybe at the end of the day when you meditate or in the beginning of the day when you meditate or during the day any time you have a few minutes you can put your attention on the again the spirit the mother kundalini and sahasrara seventh energy center and just check the state of your subtle system as shrinath ji described in both hands uh, you can check what you feel and depending on where you feel 
tingling or heat, you can meditate more on that chakra to clear on it and ask your mother Kundalini for help. So it's very simple, very practical. You don't have to go anywhere, give up anything that you normally do. And um, this is the practical aspect of Sahaja Yoga that we hope um, you make use of and benefit. Um, Tarish, is there anything else you would like to add before we go to the Q&A session? No, I think uh, the, the important point which you mentioned about like taking the moments in between and taking the attention within yourself on the spirit, it really helps. It like it keeps you in that pace, in that state uh, for a good time or period. So I'll just make sure that uh, everyone just try to practice that. Yeah, thank you. And I'm going to stop the recording now, so if, um, folks can feel free to ask questions. There was a question here that uh, someone needs that PDF, Praveen. So in case, if are we sharing this this document or this PPT uh, or the email or somewhere in the WhatsApp group? We will share a recording of today's session in the WhatsApp group. Um, yes, we will. Everything that you went through, the foot soak and the Vishuddhi Chakra, you will get the recording of today's session. 